Hello everyone, good evening, welcome wherever you are. It's quite late here in the United Kingdom, so I debated uh, about whether or not to do a Facebook Live this time of night. It's like half past nine, I think, here in the UK. But then I thought, you know, consistency is so very important. Hi, Ifke. How are you? Hope you're well. All the way there in the Netherlands. Hope life is treating you very well. Good to see you. So thank you very much, guys, for joining me uh, this late at night. It's uh, I don't know what time it is wherever you are. Can you just, by the way, I'm using this microphone for the first time. If you just let me know that you can hear me. Because we were having some sound problems the other day. Hi, Haji, how are you? Good to see you. Just guys, just let me know. Give me some thumbs up just to let me let me know that the mic is working, that you can hear me. I'd be so appreciative. So we've got quite a few uh, people watching. So I've literally um, just finished working a few moments ago. And I needed to get some specific work done before uh, I got onto the Facebook Live. So my apologies. This is why it is so late today. Taj says hello from the other room. She's only over the next room. She's just finished working herself. Um, it's an hour later here than in the UK. I know, if okay, so you must be getting ready for bed. Or, but you're a bit like me. You're working all the time as well. Hi, Lakshmi. Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining me. Loving all these likes, guys. Let's try and keep this going throughout. All this like and this love being shared about. So, let's, today's message. Uh, and I know it's a message that I've uh, said before. Thanks, Carol. I just needed to know that because I'm using this brand new mic. I just need to know that it's working. So, today's message is a message that I've shared with you before. But it's, a, it's such an important message. It just needs reiterating and reinforcing on a regular basis. Sometimes we read something that's really powerful, don't we? Or, or we hear something that's really powerful, or we have a thought that's really powerful. But what we do, we have that thought, we see that thing, we read that thing once, and then we forget about it. Uh, and it's very easy for us to stop practicing this new habit, this new knowledge, this new piece of information that we've acquired. So I think it's very important sometimes to repeat that message, to remind us, so it becomes habit within our lives. Hi Cav, good to see you. Um, Keith Gay says she's working all the time. Sleep is overrated. I absolutely agree with it. It's so overrated, you know. Give me meditation over sleep any day. Um, so the, today's message is about, you know, whose company are you keeping? Who are you talking to on a regular basis? Who do you mix with? Who do you hang around with? Who's in your inner circle? Who is it? Because, and this is one of my favorite quotes, and you've heard me saying this, uh, repeating this quote so many times. It's a Jim Rohn quote about, you know, the company, you become the average of the five people whose company you keep most. I think that is so very true and so very powerful. So I'm always acutely aware of whose company I'm keeping. I'm acutely aware of who I'm talking to on a regular basis. I'm very, very um protective of my energy uh, because we all have limited energy it we don't actually lose that energy or rather the universe never loses that energy all it ever does is it transmutes into other energy but we ourselves um we build this energy up over our time we put a lot of uh, investment in ourselves to build our energy up and it's very easy for other people to come along with perhaps a negative attitude uh, that perhaps then suck that energy out of you. And we give it away so freely. Now, I know that every time I have an interaction with somebody, I'm always exchanging energy. So it's very important for us to understand that, uh, you know, when you're transmitting energy all the time, or when you're, you're exchanging energy, energy with somebody else all the time, that you uh, do like for like. I, you're getting good energy back and you're giving good energy out and building your energy resources and helping the other person to build up their energy resources. Hi Danny, good to see you. But of course we always get these people, don't we, in life, who are energy vampires or the mood hoovers or the dementors in life you know in harry potter where they suck the energy out of you suck the soul out of you you get these people and you feel drained after you have you when you have an uh, in interaction with those people 
So I'm very acutely aware of those people and I'm very, very careful about who I interact with, who I talk to on a regular basis, who I exchange my energy with. So the people around me tend to be very happy people, very focused people, very um, successful people or people aspiring towards success with the right attitude. You know, that's who I surround myself with. And I am, I've learned in my life that, that is so powerful for me and it works for me. Uh, and I suggest that everybody does it. So Kev says, I have a top five people I talk to others. I'm more aware of, I always spread positivity. That's great, uh, Kev, and, uh, and, and good for you. Uh, Gurpit, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us this late at night. Hope the kids are well. So guys, I mean, today I've had a, an amazing day again. You know, your day can be as amazing as you choose uh, for it to be. What are you doing? Are you living intentionally? Are you doing things throughout the day with a clear and focused mind, with a purpose in mind? And who are you mixing with? So today I've, you know, I've done an awful lot of uh, things. I've connected with an, uh, some incredible people online. I've been building more content. I've been reaching out to people and I've had a fantastic meeting with a person who I admire an awful lot. Uh, that uh, I wanted to meet up with for a while and we've been trying for ages to meet up and his name is Alan Kleinhans. Uh, he's an incredible speaker, an incredible soul, uh, uh, but he's also somebody who's been through life like I've been through life. We're of a similar age. He used to be in the military, in the South African military and he's got an incredible backstory and today we finally met up and we met up in a, a beautiful a uh, hotel um, out in the sticks, uh, just uh, south of Birmingham. It's just incredible hotel, beautiful surroundings. And we talked and talked and talked. We talked about everything that was about spirituality. We talked about our stories. We talked about our businesses. We talked about uh, our learning through life. You know, it was one of those occasions in life where you could have continued to talk and the talk was so transparent so open so honest and full of integrity and mutual support and mutual admiration I, I thoroughly enjoyed that so I came away from that with my energy bounding you know I'd felt that we'd swapped so much great energy between us and we were just fulfilling each other or creating even more energy within each other so that is how I felt and that is how we should all feel with every single interaction that we have. Um, so now I'm even more reminded of who I should talk to, who I should mix with. I've come home today and I've spoken to uh, a number of people online, offline, uh, who are of a similar ilk and of a similar thinking and a similar mindset. And the other thing that uh, Alan and I talked about was the whole power of the universe. And we got into really spiritual conversation. Now, I rarely talk about my spirituality, uh, but let me share with you my concept of God. You know, people ask me all the time, so do you believe in God? And people ask me the age old adage, what religion are you? Now, let me just say up front, I don't do religion. I stopped doing religion about 13, 14 years ago. I do spirituality. My relationship with God is a strong one. I think that's great for me because it breaks all boundaries for me. I can quite easily go into a church, a temple, a gurdwara, a mosque or wherever it is because it, it, those places are just reminders of God's space for me. And I can sit there and I can, I can literally just you know relax and contemplate on God. Um, but we talked about God and we talked about God as an energy source. We talked about us being a fragmentation of God. We talked about us, our souls being like that drop of water that wants to merge back with the ocean once it's evaporated. And once you're with, with the ocean, you are no longer an entity in your own right and your ego disappears and you become one with the, the whole. And this is how I think we are in, the, in this world. And I think in that, I also believe that we're also extremely magical beings. We're really magical beings. And this is something I passionately believe in. So we come into this world and we walk around in this world thinking that uh, we've got a lot of power. We think that, uh, you know, we create some amazing structures through our knowledge and our science. But the moment nature, you know, 
comes at us with its natural force, whether it's through a, a hurricane, whether it's through a tsunami, whether it's through flooding, whether it's through snow, whether it's through winds, we stand no chance whatsoever against the, the force, the sheer force of nature. And yet we have forgotten that we are of nature itself and that we have this magical ability that nature has provided for us and we're not using it at all. What we're using is this knowledge that we've created through our human experience. So as we go through life, we are taught so many things. We are taught uh, how to be a great person by our parents who have taught that and learned that from their experiences, from their childhood and from their parents. We are taught how to be a great student uh, by our teachers who have learned that through the studies and teachings that they've had in their experience in their schools. We are taught how to be the best worker that we can possibly be. We're taught that by our colleagues and our peers and our supervisors who have been through that experience themselves. But everything's limited. They're only coming from what others have told them in the past. They're doing it with good intention, but they're only telling us what others have told them in the past. So everything that we are being taught in this world is limited. And yet, if we go inward, if we stand out from the crowd, if we choose to be different, if we choose to tap into our inner energy, our inner resource, our inner potential, as I call it, then our worlds can be amazingly different which is why i've created the signature signature event ignite your inner potential it means so much to me that title i think that our potential is the magic that we've got within us and we just have to ignite it and once we've ignited and we've struck the change it's like striking a match a matchstick always has the potential to give you fire but unless you strike that match you'll have no fire so what do we do to get to that? How do we get into that inner potential? Well, first and foremost is that we need to develop our mind. We develop our mind. Our mind is a slave to the physical world. So we need to develop our mind by connecting with the right people. If we're, not connect, if we're connecting with people who are negative, if we're connecting with people who don't believe, if we're connecting with people who have limited thinking, if we're connecting with people who are, are negative or... Uh, or angry, or, uh, you know, simply don't live as an individual themselves, as a, as a person who stands up on their own like themselves, stand out from the crowd, then of course we'll always be like that. So guys, my message to you is very short and very clear. Really be aware of who is influencing, bringing influence into your life on a daily basis. I'm not saying you know, uh, your loved ones, if, if your loved ones are of a negative mindset or, you know, victims of, of their own lives because some, some, some of us wear this victim t-shirt. I'm not saying, you know, break away from your relatives. I am saying, however, that you need to lessen the time that you spend with people who suck the energy out of you. I am saying you need to be that level of ruthless in your own life because you only have one chance. This is your chance. You've been put on this earth. You've been given a purpose. But are you truly fulfilling that purpose? Or are you letting other people block you from achieving what you're supposed to achieve? Guys, I really want you to dig deep within yourselves. I want you to find out what your purpose is. I want you then to ignite your inner potential. I want you to strike the match and make the match from a matchstick to fire. Because fire has huge power. So whatever potential you've got, and you have got potential, use it, bring it to life and find your inner magic. That's all I've got to share with you tonight.